Well, you know, let's get started. I'm, I'm not going to hold everybody up if, you know, really probably nobody's going to join us. My, my goal for this meeting, and, and we'll try to find a second time this month that works best to just finish it, but my goal this meeting was to try to finalize a draft of the comprehensive plan in um, workable form to have the public hearing um, in early December so that, again, we can make changes and, and give it to the town board for potentially uh, to set a public hearing, I guess, in what would be February, not in the organizational meeting. Um, so with that in mind, uh, Kathy, I, I know I've got some of your comments, but if you have any more, well, I'm just going to try to open it up to you guys and let me know what changes you have to suggest um, so that I can take them down and make them and, you know, if possible, if, if we feel comfortable with it, then we can, um, you know, set that public hearing or probably more appropriately try to find a better or a second time this month to meet um, to just get more input from people and make sure that, you know, we're confident that it's good to go. So does anybody have any comments from you guys here with me tonight? Just what I said before. I mean, if I... I didn't have any particular wording in it. I always just want to try to keep it as as broad enough that it appe that it appeals to, you know, the the greatest number of our community, but specific enough that it's not just fluff. So, um, if you need specific suggestions on wording, I'd be happy to do it. But I don't want to micromanage, and uh, my my. As I said, I just wording in a, in a way that explains our demographics without making it sound like we're all old and <laughs> not, not willing to, uh, you know, um, I think we have a very vibrant older community, not, and so that's all I, that's my suggestion. I think our um, older population is some of our most active in the community, active in my neighborhood. So if we could just include, include it in that way. Yeah. Um, and yeah. again, I am part of that. I am part of that group, not the 85 plus group, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge to say, you know, uh, the demographic is getting older just as a number without also saying you're getting older in like the connotative sense. I mean, yeah, you could just say that the demographics between the ages of whatever and whatever are growing instead of describing it as older. We have, yeah. you know, large demographics between this age and this age. Something as simple as that. Okay. Which, like I said, if you want me to write something specific as a suggestion, I will, but it certainly doesn't have to be written that way. Yeah, I'll do my best. Um, well, I, and then I, guess it, I guess it does speak to the... Uh, importance of living in the town of Canandaigua when um, we have uh, an 85 plus group to talk about. Yeah. Not that I'm there. I, I'm a little <laughs> ways away from that, but you know. My, my mother was part of that group and she loved it here. <laughs> she lived at, uh, she lived in Quail Summit. So, you know, we have Ferris Hills and Quail Summit. So very important part of our community. I think so. Just for everybody else's um, benefit. So Kathy's comments from the last meeting, as I have them here, the, that the economic trend section was um, potentially too scholarly and, and unreadable to like the general public. Uh, the question about or how we worded the aging that it, you know gave the impression or a, a negative impression as opposed to just a statement of fact. Um, how the percentages of affordable housing compares to other communities. Um, I was able to find that information. And then similarly, um, the median income, how that related to other areas. Um, a, yeah, I, and in that regard, before I forget, Eric, I don't, is the, the indexing and the, the methods that you were using, is that something that everyone agrees upon is this based i mean i know you have a lot of training in this area 
but I, I don't know about getting so specific about a specific measure of, you know, um, and, and again, I, I had a question about real median house and I know people were saying, you know, I understand what it means, but I don't, I don't know that any, so there are many different formulas to use to determine, you know, affordability or um, income. And there's something you put in there about, uh, I was I'm sorry, I was trying to scroll through your screen. Um, <laughs> um, and I can't remember the wording right now. Um, the G index. No, it was about income inequality or something like that, which um, I think yeah. that's a matter of interpretation. And I know, you know, different people, I, I, maybe I'll write something and, and then see what other people think rather than just babbling here. So it would have the same message, but. Um, well, you want to have something that is um, quantifiable in a sense, but not as much a social commentary or. Right, right. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. It is difficult to um, speak to this issue, I think, because I mean, we, we have the, uh, you know, the lakefront and just, you know, the, the incomes that are needed to be able to participate in, in that area versus other parts of the town. I mean, it really, there is quite a disparity, but, um, if you take the, the lakefront out of the equation, I don't think the rest of our town is really as uh, different from other areas surrounding us, from the city. Um, it, it, it's it's a, a difficult thing to write. And those the, the property values on the lake might skew our inequality more than other yeah. places. So while the property values on the lake are very high, um, our town is otherwise fairly affordable for um, the home, the single home buying population. Um, yeah. There's the other population that doesn't fit into that category. And I think that's what we're trying to, to say, right? Um, that there are people who can't afford single family homes given the economy and um, land prices, building prices, et cetera. Yeah. So, um, we want to still bring people here. And how do we do that? I guess is what we're yeah. trying to say is that I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's my interpretation, keeping it, keeping our community vibrant despite all these challenges. Well, it's, you know, from a, a developer's perspective, they only build what's selling. And, right. you know, to, say that we should have more homes that are in the $150,000 area, let's say. Um, that's not what sells and there's right. no real uh, reason, you know, for these people to, you know, build a tract of, you know, homes like that. So, I mean, it's a very complex issue. Right, I, and I think maybe just being as general as possible without- Yeah. I, no, I try well, a particular thing. In some instances, I certainly do get into like why something changes. I think in this page I have up here, I talk about um, why median income may have dipped from 2010 to 2017. But generally, I, I don't think I've tried to get into the why so much as the what, like with uh, housing affordability. I didn't try to touch on why it why it had been done because it would take a much larger examination than this where I'm just trying to lay out facts as much as possible um, without too much analysis beyond that. I and, hope that that's you know, I'm a economics geek. Um, and you know, from from that comes, you know, at, you can come up with many different theories about how to look at things. And I think we want to stay away from one versus another. So this Gini coefficient and um, raising concerns about income inequality. Again, I, I said that before, but, um, and I know what you're trying to say, but 
I don't, I, I, I think we should avoid something like that in our, in our comprehensive plan. It might be something for planning or, you know, an, something to be raised when someone's bringing a particular um, development to the town, but um, I don't think we should be espousing one theory over another. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then I think the one last kind of major thing, which wasn't just your point, but uh, the rest of the CIC raised something similar, having like a statement about COVID and um, not in like a whole section, not to really um, distract from the plan itself, but just to say that it's something we have to be aware of. There's going to be long-term changes from it that remain to be seen um, and that will need to be flexible moving forward depending on what those changes are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think you'd want to have that be as succinct as possible because it's, I mean, this is a comprehensive plan and this thing certainly has thrown a monkey wrench into a lot of the works, but but it's not something to be dwelled upon, as, in which you, ha you haven't. I mean, that's yeah. whether it needs to be mentioned in a comprehensive plan is, I don't know, like some people may say yes, some say no. As it's written right now, certainly doesn't um, take up too much space. And there are a couple references here and there in this no. section. There. Yeah, I do think of the one sentence you have in here, the last one in the second paragraph there, um, is very important. That our public parks are as busy as ever. I, I, I would say more busy than ever. You know, as people saw the opportunities to leave the house. To, you know, in socially distant fashion. I mean, it does point at the uh, need to keep our eye on the um, uh, level of, of uh, you know, parks and recreational opportunities that we do have. You know, who knows? None of us know the future. And, you know, that is a very important point that you put in there, Eric. Similar to, um, you know, working from home, is it just a temporary thing or will more people be doing that, yeah. you know, visiting the parks, is that just a temporary thing or people gotten a taste for it more so now that they have more yeah. freedom to do it now, do work from home. It's a long-term thing. Yeah. We may yeah. have to provide more park space. Um, Terry, in your uh, reading of this, is there anything that popped out to you that we should look to change before, you know, it's good to, do, good to go to a public hearing? Well, I, 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 I think you captured, you know, the, uh, the feeling of the public, you know, we, I attended a few of those early meetings last year, um, you know, at the different locations. And, uh, I, I think, you know, a lot of the thoughts and, and, um, people's desires and needs and direction are, are in here. So. I, I like to see, you know, the whole thing presented at, at once in its semi-final <laughs> form and um, just see what that looks like in its entirety. Yeah, I, um, I do have a bit left to do here. Like I said, I did the executive summary, which was like the big piece that was missing. There's some formatting changes left to do. Yeah. For some reason, it kind of like shifted some of the wording down. Um, I did notice in there that you said the older pop, old becoming older again. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we so are. Well, you're going to be my age. <laughs> be, becoming older is a good thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Versus the alternative, you know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's all uh, relative. Older compared yeah. to what? I suppose yeah. older than you. <laughs> Yeah. Should I say older that the dirt. town is getting wiser? <laughs> yeah, Again, older and wiser. Know, demographics are between what age, seriously, what age do you become old? It really changes <laughs> depending on how old you are. So yes. I would just use, you know, statistics, demographics. True. Um, when I was your age, I was my age was old. I get that, but now that I'm this age, 
unmuted so Aaron. I just think it's a it's a great uh, it's really wonderfully comprehensive um, I I think the people that read in a comprehensive plan really enjoy this kind of detail and uh, I know in the, with the city's plan they're you know trying to um, at least when I was on it seven years ago they were um, you know, set really sensitive to to business people coming in and whether or not they're going to take a chance to on uh, on the on the area and whether it's going to fit their needs, would they be welcome? So, um, but you know, the town is just so much more has so much more um, to consider with all the different lands uses and and the lake and you know the population on the lake. Um, I guess, uh, as far as industrial development, it's not, it's not really, um, really wanted in, in the town or, um, you know, so that is, uh, um, it's a difference, you know, unless you're talking about the, the uptown portion. So I'm, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy to do whatever you suggest as far as getting it um, communicated to the city um, and, and whatever feedback you would want from them or from, from me. Sure. But I, I just think uh, it's, I just think it's a great, great job. It's, you know, it's really thorough. When we, when we, um, do the public hearing probably uh, I would think probably after we do the project team's public hearing and get comments just from the public at large we'll probably refer it to County Planning Board the city of Canandaigua um, everybody for comments then does that make sense does that seem mm -hmm. like yeah plan for it? yeah and it's logical are, are you going somewhere, Eric? Yeah, uh, I'm leaving at the end of the year. Okay. Going to Buffalo. The city? Yep. Uh, okay. Well, not working for the city. I shouldn't say that to be misleading anyways. I, I'm just moving to Buffalo at this point, okay. where I end up employed is up in the air right now. Okay. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Not that long a drive, Eric. <laughs> it's not, like I said, I got to get a more fuel efficient vehicle if I'm going to be making that commute. <laughs> there's, always, no, there's always Zoom meetings. We can track you down by Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with all the uh, remote working, you know, maybe there is an alternative. We should explore that. If there's an opportunity to work remotely, I'm happy to do it. I'm I, let me say this as a quick aside. I'm very happy about what we've done in the town in my couple of years here. Um, and I certainly hate to leave it when I feel like, you know, we're still working on so much more good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the town has really uh, it changed. Or go back 20 years and look at where we were then versus what we do now. And, how we do it and how much better we do it all. It's just amazing to me that we just continue to evolve and improve. We're, get, we're kind of, um, we're going Northeast and we're an upward. There's never a dull day in the town hall. We always have a lot of projects going on. <laughs> um, Steve, I see you're on the line with us. Yeah, I, I, I'm not real prepared. I uh, uh, just walked in the door here, and, and uh, what I tried to sign into was uh, um, the meeting last month, you know, and I kept trying, and I said, what am I doing wrong here? Then I went back, and I said, no, 
Friday yeah. because it's an October meeting. I'm sorry that I didn't send the link out until this morning. That's entirely my bad. I apologize. Um, did you have anything uh, on the plan that you um, wanted to see changed, comments on, stuff like that? I, I didn't. I, you know, I admit that I've been sitting here looking at it on my, my cell phone, you know, because I'm not that prepared. It's got to be tough, <laughs> tough to scroll through on that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to, you know, I certainly don't want to drag this meeting on any more than, than we have to. Um, I really wanted to get input from anybody um, who maybe hadn't shared it yet and get an idea of whether or not we think that this plan is, you know, ready for a public hearing. And now, uh, like I said earlier, we'll probably try to reach out to everybody on the on the team again here um, in an email or try to get a hold of everybody, see if there's another meeting in the next week or two, maybe we can get together via Zoom and just, you know, confirm with everybody that they feel confident with it. Um, that's kind of the big thing. Uh, I don't want to, okay. you know, as much as I appreciate all of your input, I want to make sure that we have the input of more than, than five people that, that we can go through. What, what would a public meeting look like? Uh, you know, would it be a yeah. Zoom meeting? Is that what it would be? I kind of think at this point it would have to, and Kathy and Terry maybe can talk to that, but as, as I understand kind of the COVID numbers in Ontario County have gone up a bit, and I think we're trying to avoid, you know, in-person meetings. So, unfortunately, that's the uh, reality that we have to live with and try to have to come up with a good presentation that we can do via Zoom, make it interesting. And I would just add, if we need to do more than one time, we can continue it. I think we can continue it once. I'm not sure offhand, um, but we, and a lot of the rules um, with regard to this have been suspended in terms of specific adjournments you can take. And we want to get the most people as possible. So if yeah. it looks like one particular meeting isn't, people don't show up, you know, we can adjourn it or, you know, keep it open, that kind of thing. Yeah, we'll have to be a little creative and kind of like that COVID section talks about that flexible as much as we can legally be to get good input from our residents and you know, make sure that this is a good representation of what they want. Yes, it's very important. Yep. I mean, this is going to be a guidance document taking us uh, you know, into the future for a number of years. So really important to get the public as involved as possible, which I know is difficult to do, especially now. And plus we're heading into a holiday season, whatever that may look like. So, but just got to beat the bushes, Eric. Going to send out a lot of handwritten letters. <laughs> yeah. Well, get the, uh, no, we, 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 I don't know, is there any way, just thinking out loud, all the meetings that were held last year, you know, at the different locations, uh, you know, there were some people that hosted meetings. Um, um, I don't know if there's a way to get them involved or get specific parts of the community involved by reaching out to them, like the, you know, the, the Ag Committee, the, um, you know, to try and pull, pull those people on the various committees specifically in, you know, to, I mean, there are people that are participating now in different, uh, you know, uh, functions of uh, town life that might be able to uh, get them to zoom in and, um, you know, give their two cents. I, I know that I've sent this to the ECB ZBA planning board. I'm not sure about mm -hmm the Ag Committee, I think the history team has gotten it. Um, but yeah, you're entirely right. We got to get, we have to put it in front of 
pretty much anybody who's yeah. president or stakeholder that we can in however fashion we can, whether it's email yeah. or, um, yeah, we got to be creative. About using the, um, like the MailChimp list, you know, that uh, you send out, um, you know, different bits of town news. And um, I mean, put it on the website and put it on, um, you know, Facebook, but yeah, MailChimp list, uh, you know, those are people that are pretty much, you know, generally interested in the health and the future of the town. Yeah. Um, if we can find a way to, to stress it, you know, and I, kind of the, I don't know, sometimes it seems like the difficulty is getting people to click on it. Sometimes they might read an yeah. email, but making it interesting yeah. enough that they'll follow up with it. And so, yeah, when, when you tell them they have to read a hundred page document, <laughs> that might, don't tell them that part yeah. up front. We'll have the executive summary in a separate document. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you'd like to learn more, click here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, anybody else have any thoughts on um, engagement with the public? And at this time. Okay. Then, you know, I, I appreciate everybody joining me tonight. Um, I know it's a short meeting, a quick meeting. I appreciate everybody's input on this plan. And we're coming to the end, I think, I hope. Um, so hopefully we can, I'll send out an email tomorrow, uh, try to find a time in the next week maybe that that I can get input from anybody else on the, the committee that hasn't provided it yet. Um, make sure that we're all comfortable, that this is good to go, and then we'll find a time to hold the project team's hearing on it. We had originally talked about um, early December, depending on um, how quickly I can get comments and thoughts from everybody. We may have to push it back into January of next year. Um, but we'll try to get it wrapped up as quickly as possible. So. Sounds like a plan. Cool. It is a plan, Terry. <laughs> a comprehensive plan. <laughs> is there anything else for anybody? I don't think so. I appreciate you guys joining me. All right. We'll Thank see you. you. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Thank you, Eric. Yep. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Take good care. Night.